out of bed. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's currently 8.48. My alarm went off at 8, I'm not gonna lie. And then I snoozed it like twice and then I've kind of just been laying here refusing to get up. It's time to get up. Like my heart isn't beating. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey and today I'm doing my very realistic, if you can't tell already, winter morning routine. I'm pretty sure this is day seven of my little 12 days of Christmas vlogmas series. What is that? Okay guys, I just took a body shower lately, or not even lately, but for the last like year, I've been a morning shower instead of a nighttime shower. Shower. I used to shower every single night and I just preferred doing it at night, but then since I started making a morning shower part of my routine, I enjoy that so much more. It just like, I feel like my day isn't started until I take a shower. It just really wakes me up and it makes me feel like I'm starting to get ready for the day without actually like having to put in the effort of getting ready. Like a shower for me is like, really nice and relaxing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about my shower so much. The first thing I do after I get out of the shower is put lotion on my entire body, especially in the winter. This is so crucial. I always moisturize after the shower, but like I said, like the winter is drying my skin out. I just, I need to moisturize to feel good. So I'm gonna do this because it's really difficult to do on camera. And then I'll be back. I just lathered myself in lotion, like head to toe. Now, of course, deodorant. I need to figure out what to wear today. That's good enough. I'm not doing nothing more. Next step is to moisturize my face. Just like I was talking about the skin on my body, the skin on my face also just gets so dry in the winter and it is crucial that I moisturize like after, di like directly after getting out of the shower. I don't do my full skincare routine or start my makeup or anything and you'll see why in a few minutes. But the next thing that I do before heading downstairs and making my breakfast is to figure out what fragrance I want to wear today. I'm trying to decide out of these three fragrances, I don't I don't know which one to use today. These are actually all from the brand Scentbird, which I I cannot say enough good things about Scentbird. I just love Scentbird, so that's why I'm super excited to announce that Scentbird is sponsoring this portion of today's video. I cannot explain to you how many times I myself or somebody that I know has spent like hundreds of dollars on a fragrance and expected to like it a lot, and then you like actually get it and you're wearing it and you're trying it and it's just not hitting how you thought it would, and then you just wasted 100, 200, 300 dollars on a perfume that you don't want to. Wear. And that's where Semper comes in. It's a fragrance subscription that allows you to try new designer fragrances every single month for just $17. So this is the packaging that Semper puts the fragrances in and you can twist this top part to unlock it or lock it. So like if you were to throw this in a makeup bag or a purse or something, you can lock it to make sure it doesn't accidentally spray all over the inside of your bag. To get a closer look at the fragrance inside, you can just like put your nail in the little case, split it open, and this is the Boho Boco Red Wine Brown Sugar fragrance. Scentbird also sends this little card in with each fragrance that you get. So it says the name obviously and shows the full size bottle and then on the back you can read all about the fragrance and the different notes that are in it and the ingredients used. So this particular perfume to me it just smells like the holidays. This is going to be my go-to scent for holiday parties, for family gatherings, for anything related to Christmas and the holidays. It just embodies the smell of winter to me for some reason. This has notes of dried fruits, red wine, cedar wood, leather and brown sugar. The next one is in this little orangey red case and this is the Brown Girl Jane Dawn perfume. This perfume has notes of raspberry blossom, water lily, amber resin, vanilla Madagascar, and vanilla bourbon. And then the final one is a fragrance that I picked out because I've been meaning to try it for so long and I just haven't. This is the Ariana Grande Ari perfume and once again, let's see what notes are in here. Crispy pear, pink grapefruit, juicy raspberry, rosebuds, and vanilla orchid. So this is a a super floral and fruity and just fun fragrance. Very good for like everyday wear in my opinion. I honestly think I might wear this one today. So again, you twist to unlock and then to spray it, you just push down. It smells so good. So if you guys are interested in experimenting with different fragrances and trying new things, whether you're trying to find your signature scent or you're just trying to curate a good collection of fragrances, you guys can click the first link below to visit Scentbird's website or you can scan this little QR code right here. And you guys can use my code DDirect to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird, which means you're only gonna be paying about $8, which is such an insane deal. So since I've picked out today's fragrance, the next step is to go downstairs and eat. I am starving. At 
at this point. So let's go make some breakfast. Oh, by the way, this is the outfit that I decided on. I didn't really talk about that. I work from home and I don't go to school and I don't really leave the house unless I need to. Maybe not healthy, but in the winter time, I don't leave. Like I just, I refuse to. It's like 20 degrees outside. So this is usually what my outfits look like. Either leggings in some sort of like comfy top or sweatpants and a sweatshirt. It really depends. And then if I have to go somewhere later, then maybe I'll put on a cute outfit. But for now, we're staying comfy cozy. Okay, I've decided I want to make an omelet this morning. So while my coffee was brewing, I got out some of the ingredients. I have tomato, I have some peppers. My omelet's currently cooking, and normally I would ice roll my face while I wait for my breakfast to be done. But for some reason, I am just freezing right now, so I'm just gonna keep holding this cup of coffee in my hands like this until my omelet's done. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know why it's so cold in here. Here she is, she kind of fell apart. She's not the prettiest omelet ever, but I know she's gonna taste good. And yes, I put ketchup on my omelets. Oh, it almost fell off the plate. Oh God, okay. Yeah, she actually doesn't look cute at all. I was gonna say the ketchup made her look cuter. It just didn't. <laughs> Here is my veggie and cheese omelet. Mm. Oh my gosh, really good. She's really tasty. It's already 10.51 somehow. I'm not sure how the time flies so freaking fast every single day. It just, it's just, it's so fast. Anyways, the next step of my morning routine is usually to either get some planning or some work done. In this case, I need to do both because it's a Monday morning when I'm filming this and I usually write out my weekly to-do list Sunday night, but I didn't get around to it yesterday. So I'm gonna write out my weekly to-do list and then I have some editing I need to do. Tell me how these are all YouTube videos that I have to film this freaking week. This whole vlogmas thing that I'm doing is insane. Okay, I have written out the things that I think need to be on there. There's definitely gonna be a lot more than I need to add. I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing a video right now though. It'll probably take me like an hour. I don't even know. It's 12.38. What time did I start? Wasn't it like 10.50 or something? Oh my God. I don't know how that just took me so long, but it's 12.38. I guess. I want to do my makeup. I literally have zero idea how that took me so long. Like, I was really confident that it was going to take me less than an hour. I think I set an hour to, like, give myself some extra time. And then, like, two hours passed. And I'm just really confused. <laughs> I really don't have anywhere to go. And you might be like, why are you putting on makeup if you're not doing anything? And I think the answer to that question is I just feel feel a lot better about myself when I do my makeup that day. It doesn't matter if I don't do anything. It's really just like the act of doing my makeup and feeling like I'm getting my life put together. And I also just enjoy doing my makeup. So it is usually a part of my morning routine. Even though at this point it's almost 1 p.m. This isn't even a morning routine anymore. I'm not gonna do anything crazy for makeup. I just wanna put like a little bit on. So it should only take me like 10 minutes or so. Oh, I just realized I never ice rolled my face. Hmm. It's usually one of my favorite things to do in the morning because it just really like wakes you up It like depuffs your face and stuff, but I was too cold to do it earlier I'm still kind of cold. Why is it so cold? Also after I do my makeup and kind of finish the getting ready part of my morning That's usually when I'll go and film TikToks and stuff which might sound stupid or whatever But TikTok believe it or not is actually considered work for me I know still blows my mind So if I have any good TikTok ideas or things that I've been meaning to film I'll usually go ahead and do that after my makeup Makeup. Okay, my makeup is done. It's very natural, very minimalist. I tried on a new mascara and I don't know if I hate it or if I 
love it yet. As far as how the rest of my day is looking, I'm gonna go ahead and film that TikTok that I was talking about and then purchase everything in my Amazon cart. It's been building up the last couple of days and it's nothing for myself, so don't, don't come at me. It's just gifts for people. There's a few things for my boyfriend. There's something for my mom. There's something for my friend. It's just like a collection of different gifts that I'm getting people that I need to finally order. And then I'm probably just gonna edit for the rest of the day and probably end up hanging out with my boyfriend tonight. So... Yeah, that's pretty much how all my days go. It's pretty boring. It's peaceful. It's been peaceful. It's been it's been nice. I've I've kind of gone through like a manic episode recently, but now I'm kind of like back, like level headed, and I'm just like enjoying my time. I don't know why I'm going in like a whole rant about this, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm having so much fun. It's definitely a lot of hard work filming, editing, uploading every single day. So you guys better be grateful. I know you guys are grateful. I love you. So much again if you're interested in trying out scentbird which i definitely recommend or it would be like a great gift 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 come on it'd be a great gift to ask for for christmas or a birthday or something because somebody could like gift you a subscription to scentbird and then you're just getting free perfumes all the time and it's like part of your gift gift i keep saying words that i don't like that's not how i say those words i don't know why i'm saying them like that i think it'd be a great gift to give scentbird to somebody or to have somebody give scentbird to you if you want to try it out click the first link in the description box and use my code dedrick to get 55 percent off your first month at scentbird i will see you guys tomorrow Bye-bye.